Hi, myself Shamikra Jayadori. I am working as a Bumi developer at PG Software Solutions. So today I will give an overview how we can use the stored procedure write option in Bumi. So coming to the stored procedure, a stored procedure is a pre-compiled collection of one or more SQL statement stored on the database server. So basically they are used to encapsulate the repetitive task complete business logic, a series of operation or queries need to be performed on the database. So for this purpose, we are using the stored procedure. So there are different types of parameters in the stored procedure, like in parameter, out parameter, and in out parameter. So coming to in parameter, it is mainly used to pass the values into the stored procedure. Out parameter is used to allow the stored procedure to pass back the values to the caller. Like whenever we are getting any output from the query, that value will be passed through the out parameter. And in out, in out parameter can act both as a in and out. So now I will jump to the Bhumi platform. There we will see how we can implement the stored procedure write option in Bhumi. So here I have created one process with start shape with no data. And here I have taken one message shape. So here you can see I have created one XML file structure where the employees is the root element and employee is the repeating element. You can see employee is repeating. And under that I have created name, age and department element. So according to the like uh, if we want to send the data to the database, then we need to transform the data. So here I have used the map shape to transform the XML data to database profile. Here you can see how we are converting all the data to the database profile. Now, now I will show you the database like where we have created one table and the stored procedure. So we will open the MySQL server. So here you can see there is one table called employee details, which is present under the schema of TGH Shamik. So in that table, you can see there are three columns, name, age, and department, where the name is the primary key, and we have provided the name in the table. So now in that schema only, we have to create the stored procedure. So I have created one stored procedure named update employee details. So I will show you the stored procedure. So as per the syntax, uh, we have to use the create, then create procedure, then procedure name. After that, in a bracket, we have to pass all the parameters we need. So here I will uh, write one stored procedure, which will update the data based on the name. So for that, we need three input, name, age, and department. So after that, uh, like in begin and end, between the begin and end, we will put the condition which we want the as a source procedure. So here you can see uh, the syntax like we will update a table. So update table name, then set age equal to one and department equal to department one, where we are putting the condition based on the name. So uh, we will pass the name and based on the name, the age and department will be updated in the database. So now I am again going to the Bumi and we will see how the database connector we will configure. So as we know for a connector, we need to configure the connection and the operation. So here I have made the connection and as we are sending the data to database, so we will choose the action as send. And here we have to create one operation. So uh, while creating operation at first, you have to create one profile. And in that profile, you have to go to the statement. Then you can see there is type. In type, there is one option that stored procedure write. So today we will look uh, how these options work. So after selecting the stored procedure write, we will click on the import. Then based on the atom, like on which atom 
uh, your database system is there. So that item we have to choose and choose the same connection, which connection we have configured in the database connector and click on the next. Then find your stored procedure uh, from the list. Like our procedure name is TG Shamik Update Employee Detail. So select it and click on the next. Now uh, you can show the list of parameters we are passing. So I will select all of the parameters. Then it will successfully import it. Like here you can see the so, so here all the fields got imported uh, then we will save and close it. So our operation, uh, we have created the operation successfully, then we will click OK. Yeah, so we have configured the database connector and set the uh, connector and operator name as per your naming convention and now we will test it out. So for execute. Uh, we need one runtime engine, so I will choose the atom and we will click, click on OK. So here you can see that uh, the process is executed successfully. Now we will go to the database to check. So that is the database. Now I will refresh it. So here you can see that at first it was only name field was there but now i am sending the data and based on the data based on the name it is updating the age and department values so according to our uh, according to our stored procedure we want to update the values for age and department based on the name so we have successfully implemented it by using the stored procedure write option from Boomi. So thank you guys for connecting. Bye.